first section we wanted to talk about was the pristine soul of God. That, that is that our children are not really our children, they come from God and we're just really the guardians or caretakers until they're able to really exercise their own free will. So there's some... Go ahead. I thought you were giving me the nod. No, I'm just holding your hand. <laughs> Sorry, I just like holding your hand. I've still got my training wheels on. <laughs> Yeah, she's, she's so influenced by me, she can see. <laughs> um, so, if the child has a pristine soul condition when it incarnates, that means that it has no damage whatsoever at the moment of conception. So, right at the moment of conception, every single child is pure in its emotional experience, is pure in its soul. Now, it's very important to understand that because what I've heard some and uh, many parents, in fact, say, oh, that child from the moment it was born, it was just a hard, hard work, you know? Now, the whole reason why that is the case is for something other than the fact that the child has a problem. Because the child, at the time of conception, did not have a problem. Right? That being, being the case, the only place that the child's problems can come from is its environment. And the most, the biggest influence in its environment is mum and dad. So that's where we need to start looking. If, we, if our child from the time of birth is having different issues, even if they're physical issues like sicknesses and diseases, we need to look at our own emotions because there is something in it emotionally for us. Now, when I say something emotionally for us, a lot of times it won't be just for us, it might be grandparents have passed down this emotion to the parents who then passed this emotion to the child. So bear in mind it's just something that we need to clear away from ourselves rather than looking at it from a point of view of judgement. I want to try to keep you away from judgement today. All right? Because many of you are going to be tempted to get into it today. And the reality is that the majority of our soul damage that we carry around now came from our own childhood as well. And so really, this is, we're pivotal people in that we can start to clear away that soul damage so that our children can benefit from that. And it's, it's a multi-generational issue. So it's quite an empowering place that we're in at the 